Hello, thank you for inviting me uh, for this conference. And uh, I am from an independent artist and I am part of the Planetary Collegium and Node. The presentation of my uh, conference is the value of waste. Because it's a lot of here, um, I try to involve some project with uh, recycle project. The key words is waste, ecology, nature, and education. And I want to start with uh, two points. One is the Pompeii's uh, problem, because uh, the, the last uh, month, uh, month uh, the house of gladiator collapsed. And the other point is uh, the problem in Naples uh, with the waste. The point is, uh, it is simple to understand that many political responsibilities are inside this apocalyptic vision, and it's banal to make a focus about the mafia speculation. In both the case, uh, the trash of Naples and the crash of the Pompeii, the problem is to understand which value we give to this landscape of rubble. With these images, I don't want to apologize the fault or the sense of guilt, but try to obtain a sense for the rubble through an analysis about what is the trash and the waste in the human consideration. Then the find is, how could I consider to place? And I start this analysis by a quote of Walter Benjamin with an um, introduction is a clay painting named Angelus Novus, show, uh, shows an angel looking as Stuart is about to move away from something. He is fixedly, fixedly contemplating. His eyes are staring, his mouth is open, his wings are spread. This is how one pictures the angel of history. His face is turned toward the past, where we perceive a chain of events he sees one single catastrophe which keeps peeling wreckage upon wreckage and Arl it in front of his feet. The angel would like to stay awakened dead and make war what is being smashed, but a storm is blowing from paradise. It has got cooked in his wings with such violence that the angels can no longer close them. The storm is irresistibly propels him into the future to which his back is turned, while the peel of debris before him grows skyward. The storm is what we call progress. In the Benjamin essay Angelus Novus, the clay figure is a figure who fly forward to the future with the head and the sign of the rubble. A heavy storm pushed him into the future. He can stop to star in the past uh, in form of the amounts of ruins. Benjamin calls Angelus Novus the angel of the history, giving a critics and the concept of progress. The human skills of reading and interpreting the waste and the ruins could become a drawery for the global society. All the ruins are the waste but not vice versa even if Benjamin believes that the waste is a condition of transformation and a passage. We know that Benjamin faced the theme of the ruins is a basic element of the history. Then the ruins allow the reading of the history, even if Angelus Novus is pushed by the strong wind forward to the future. Now, this is the question I'm interested on. How could we have a vision of the contemporary waste and of the present ruins without considering the problem of nature? Is an eco problem essentially linked to the heart history or is an historical problem concerning the human being in the time? Whose are these ruins of the human history or, or the nature? Or are the rubble of an animal that lives in nature? About this point, I introduce a passage of the poet and writer Giacomo Leopardi that in Operette Morali wrote a dialogue between nature and Iceland. Uh, 